tell you, uh, yeah, and had to work to see what problems there were in building Hi. this Minecraft. Brian, Yuri, Hi there. and Greg. And um, what we have, we have a bit of video showing you what that flat tower is like, so you can see the size of the thing. You know what I would like to do? I don't know. Bring that here. Part of it. I'll cut that off a bit. Yeah. I'll cut it in actually. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let me just see. We have to find out all the problems before we use expensive materials mm. to make sure we know precisely how this big thing is going to go together. Well, I was amazed to just hear from one of the colleagues downstairs that it could be made from wood and a delicate material because of the magnetic oh, yes. field that yes, is protected. Because first it's in a vacuum mm. and, and also it's in a shield. Mm. It could be cardboard, as long as we could support internal life in mm. one bolt. Mm. It doesn't matter so much on the material. We've showed the materials we used in the past here. Mm. Uh, but um, what we're targeting for is, uh, the other thing is, Stockholm is shut down for all well, how did How did everything start? Well, it basically come from two dreams that kept repeating themselves. I called them Dream 1, Dream 2. Uh, twice a year, you had each dream. So you, we had Dream 1, Dream 2, Dream 1, Dream 2. And for the next ten years, these dreams just kept repeating themselves. By the, tw the end of the twelfth, my age, twelve years, the first dream started to come into reality. This is where I was shipped to a naval school for training for the naval career. It said that I would think I was going to school, but I would not have time to say goodbye to any of the children and that's exactly what happened. But it took a little time before I appreciated what the dreams were saying. I was happened to be 13 and a half years old when I started my electrical apprenticeship. I had this docket to take to the stores and it had this two and a little two at the top of it behind it. So I said to the foreman, what does that mean? It says two square. I said, what does that mean? I uh, so, well, four squares there, two, two squares. I said, well, what does it mean? Oh, no, that's what it means. Uh, I thought of that, and I said to myself, that, that seems negative. It's only wrong. So when I got home at my days, I sat down and I started with one square, and I couldn't make any sense of that. And then I made my two squares and tried to see if I could get anything sensible out of it. No. So I thought, well, I'll try three squares. And bang, there it was. You could do something with three squares. First, now I know one square, two squares of DNA. One square is DNA of trees, plants, things like that, and viruses. We and every other creature that has to move, move have the four coded or the two square system. And then you will produce more. No, wait, one, one second, please. What, what I just want to know is, what, where have you been? You said you went to the Navy. Oh, yeah. What, what we, were you doing yeah. there? Just well, before we get into yeah. the theory. Yeah. Okay. Uh, basically, when I went down to Navy school, I was in Dr. Menarda Homes. All chaps that were healthy were sent to the Naval school to be trained for officers for the Navy. Unfortunately, in my case, I fell with a disease which looked pretty bad. The skin was been eaten away, so in the end they decided that they'd better discharge me because they couldn't place what the disease was. Uh, I went back to the foster home uh, where the dreams were and funny enough I started repairing myself, the body started repairing itself. And from there I went into the electrical side as an apprentice. Uh, 
getting on with this work, uh, doing well. Then my landlady comes up, and I see now when I look back, as vital this hands-on experience. Her son had just gone in the RAF. He, she, he was a chemist in Islington. So she asked, would I like to work at the chemist shop? I'm sure the chemist would be pleased with some extra help. I said, sure. So I went there, so I started learning about drugs and things. Then my, the boss said to me, I think you're not really cut out for this work. You're, you're cut out for something far more greater than this. You, we're holding you back. Would you like to see a doctor? I'm sure they'll give you a job. So I said, right. So I went to Shanley Hospital and saw the doctor there and said, yes, they'll take me on a month's trial. In that month, I decided that I wasn't suitable for the war. I wanted something far more exciting, so they put me in the lab. I did so well in the lab that they decided to pay for six years of training at Cambridge University. Unfortunately, Dr. Minardo Holmes didn't like the idea and took me out and put me to an old people's rest home to care for them. Now, when you look back, you may not really appreciate what all this business meant. What it's doing it is teaching me the problems I'm going to have ahead of me. I have to know how to deal with problems, old age, things like that. Because when I'm old, that's when all this will happen. This work will come into full swing. From then, I went into projection cinema work, then I went into engineering. I ended up at Mainhead at Vandervelles, where I went from machinist, inspection, setting, so I came across all the problems in designing something and producing it. Then I gave up work and I got we had problems with the family. We moved to the Midlands on my own and I sort of gave up. Unfortunately, two or three people were hunting for me to bring me back into operation again. Trouble is we had to start digging to find all the bits and pieces we could find of the past and we are slowly finding these bits but we are now starting and as we've been telling you it's been very difficult finding companies for the materials finding the money to pay for them but the whole thing is coming together the whole thing is from dreams not from books there's no books you can turn to except the ones I've written now about how it's done, why it's done uh, so People say to me, where do you get it from? Where do you think the dreams come from? Well, I cannot answer that. We can say probably it's due to reincarnation. Its signals have gone down from family, family, family. It's something of the past. In fact, monks have written to me and said that uh, studying your paperwork, it looks very much like ancient Indian tribe. They use that type of mathematics. They were supposed to have flying machines and things like that. So whether it's true or not, other people say, well, probably there's some intelligent beings out there. They telepathic the news to you and you're just receiving it. I don't know. All I know is that when I started this work, there were so many things wasn't, could not be. You can't do this, you can't do that. What we prove is they're wrong. You can do it, and it's the way you do it, and the dream told me how to do it. Basically, when I look back at my life, I see a life which didn't have the fun and pleasure that other people had as children. It was geared. As soon as you completed what, whatever it is they want you to do, they moved you to the next step of the chain. You had to get this hands-on experience. And I think personally, uh, when I look back now, I'm glad of that experience. I'm very uh, glad because it's helping me now to see all the problems around me. We are trying to explain what this, why this thing is so special. Well, it's very special in a number of reasons. First, it's non-polluting. It does produce no pollution whatsoever. The second thing is, it cleans the air 
as it operates. You'll see all the tarry substance around it. If you put needles on it to look uh, to make it like an ionizer, you'll find every hour you have to wipe all this black tar substance off the needles. That's all dead bacteria, soot and muck in the air that you've got in your room. Uh, that's a good thing. The next thing is that's good about it is that in the house, and we look at the house problem, we have mains electricity, most houses have mains electricity, it's positively switched. That means my room is at a positive state, which is not good for you. The brain don't like it. Your brain is trying to move dipoles around to do things. And now you've got a positive state in the room which is trying to twist the dipoles the way that wants it to go. So you get stress, you get all these eye aches and headaches and things like that. Your bulb burns out quick, your switches will eventually go, your cable's got to be replaced because all the time when you switch off, electrons jump and you lost, you lost them, so you get deterioration. In this effort, we are switching negative. So that means we have more electrons going across than we need. So you lose none when you switch off. Next, that means the switches don't wear out. The cable at the joints, the insulation, don't deteriorate as it does under positive because electrons are so many electrons that don't lose any when you're switching off. The lamp bulb will not lose electrons when you switch off. So bulb will burn on and on and on until it's so black you have to change it. So from that, the cost to run your home drops. The next thing is, the state of the room is basically dust-free. I'm saying we had LCG running here, you'll find no dust on anything, because dust must have a positive state to be able to move about in your room. Dust harbors like bacteria, viruses, things like that. So if you've got no dust in the room, you must have a clean, clean room. The other good thing is, when you burn yourself, women that cook a nearly always scolding some sometimes. It's painful. But with this generator in the room, because the electrons that are pumping in to the tissue makes it nice and cool. So you don't get that pain you get in a normal situation and healing is very fast. Now you look at my face, neck, you can't see nothing wrong with it. Ten years ago, in a normal hospital, you would they'll see something wrong with it. It would be like a dry prune, all purple and that. Because I was in a big explosion, right in the center of it. The generator, because it was pumping more uh, healthy electrons into my tissue, it helped to heal it faster. It kept it cool so the pain wasn't uh, great. Now, uh, if that does that, then I think in every home it would be a very important device to have. Now, asthma, bronchitis, they're terrible conditions. If you had this generator in the room, you've got clean air. You have more, better, cleaner oxygen to breathe. And within three, four weeks, your asthma problem is gone. Bronchitis, another one that benefit from this sort of thing. Burns, uh, we have talked to many burn uh, specialists in American hospitals. They like it, but the trouble is, like they say, you've got to build a full working model that they can test and in the ward, Burns ward. Then they could raise the money. That's catch-22 every time. Now, for the car, we're pushing out. Everybody's shouting at us about the pollution we're putting out. It's causing irritation to asthma sufferers and bronchitis sufferers. It's causing global warming. All 